Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, Atmik Dots, where we create short stories of art which are simple but beautiful, just perfect for art enthusiasts. So today's story is how to draw 10 types of wild mushrooms. For this, I have already roughly marked the outlines of mushrooms with pencils. And for the first type, I'm drawing this fluffy dark brown colored mushroom and it's called Shite. I drew the head in umbrella shape and I painted it in dark brown color. For the stem and the inner surface of this mushroom, I am using slightly beige color. There are certain dimensions in this type of mushroom, so for highlighting those, I drew a dark brown colored line on the inner surface so that it can look a bit fluffy. At the bottom most part of it, I am adding few dots in darker shade of brown so as to give it a look of small roots covered in soil. For the next type of mushroom which is called Inoki Take or Inoki, I drew a bunch of small mushrooms which are joined at the base but their heads are different from each other. I drew some of them in round shape and others in coolie hat shape. I painted them all in beige color. For the third type of mushroom which is called agaricus, I drew a horizontal oval shaped head and I colored it in chocolate brown shade. I wanted it to look a bit indented in the center so I added a combination of dark brown and light brown color leaving some area blank for giving it a picture of light reflecting from the surface of mushroom. For the stem part, I again used beige color and I painted half of the stem in dark beige shade and the other half in light beige shade. Now for the fourth type which is called Destroying Angel Mushroom, I again drew a coolie hat shade for the head. This mushroom has tiered ends and all the ends are slightly tilted upward. So for depicting that shape, I painted whole mushroom in off-white color, leaving just the ends which I outlined with black color. For the fifth mushroom which is called Lactarius, I wanted to give it an indented look in middle that's why I added black curved lines coming out from both of the ends of the sunken part. The ends should look like that they are folded outwards and downwards and for that I again used black color. At its bottom, I painted few strokes of light green color just to depict the grass. 
for the sixth mushroom which is called death cap mushroom i drew farmer's hat shape for the head and for the upper third part of stem i drew flower like extension this mushroom has few layers on the head part and those layers have dark and light patches on it which i colored in dark and light beige shade For the topmost part of head I use yellow shade and for the mid section of head I merge that yellow shade and beige shade in between. Next mushroom is called Amanita and this mushroom is different from others. Because it has deep orange colored head with few beige patches on it. For that I touch the paintbrush several times with orange color without giving any full stroke and replicated the texture. Next mushroom is called True Morale Mushroom which is a big mushroom with rough surface and a dry upper layer. For this I painted small zigzag lines in deep brown color leaving the base which I kept in beige color. This type of mushroom has rough wrinkled texture so for that I am giving slightly shaky strokes and leaving the middle area blank. For the lower part, I added few dark brown colored dots which will give the look of soil at the bottom. Ninth mushroom is called Bosini and it is the most plumpy mushroom. I painted the head part in deep brown color and for the bottle shaped stem part, I used light beige color and I added several dark brown dots to it. Tenth type of mushroom is called oyster mushroom. I drew its head part in convex shape which resembles a fan and it has many extensions attached to it. I colored the main body with light grey shade and for the folds on the outline I used black color.
I left some space blank in the middle while coloring the folds for giving it subtle upward dimension. It has string like texture on the inner side and for that I added few strokes of black paint. The space in the background was looking a bit empty so I drew different brown colored leaves everywhere. In the end, I wrote wild mushroom with dark brown color and I outlined it with black ink pen. This video is perfect for beginners who want to use watercolors or need to draw simple pictures like mushrooms. That's it, our 10 wild mushrooms are ready. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel Architectodes and hit the bell icon for future videos. Thank you. Bye.